Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make these gorgeous resin sun catchers. You're going to need this holographic window film off Amazon and you want to pour on this side here, the rainbow side. The back side is totally flat. This stuff comes on a roll, so I just cut the size that I need, and I usually leave this backing on it. See how the backing comes off? I usually just leave that on, and then I'll cut the size I need, and you want to make sure you pour your resin on the rainbow side. I have, which is this side here that you're seeing, I have a full step-by-step -step tutorial um, showing how I make these, but I am just going to include a super sped up clip of that video just in case anyone new is watching this. So I have my cut out piece of window film here, made a mold with 100% silicone caulk, and poured my resin into those molds. Let the caulk dry for 24 hours, and then um, pop bubbles with your heat gun on low. You might have to scoop out a few bubbles with a silicone mixing tool and the next day, 24 hours later, you're ready to demold it. So this is how I make the pieces that I use for my sun catchers. And like I said, this is a super sped up version, but I will link the full six minute tutorial down below in the description box. And I'll also pin it in the comments. So just scroll down to the comment section and you can click the link and check out that video. So I made some square shapes for these sun catchers, same process that I just showed and now we're gonna drill our holes I use just a little handheld drill that I got from Harbor Freight but a Dremel will work as well so I'm just figuring out which um, side I want to be the top then I'm gonna go in and drill two holes one on the top and one on the bottom and that's gonna be where I'm going to attach my crystals super easy I try to make the hole a little bit bigger so once I get my drill in there I kind of move it around in a circle so the hole is a little bit bigger because the jump rings um, on these crystals that I'm gonna be using are pretty large um, so I just make sure that I kind of move it my drill around in a circle when I'm in there drilling that hole then what I do is I get all of the dust off and I'm going to actually give these a rinse and um, just in the sink with some cold water that is going to get all the dust out of the inside of the hole and then make sure you dry it dry these pieces off really well you can use um, just like a microfiber cloth or a paper towel here are the crystals I get these off Amazon and these are actually chandelier glass crystals they come in a 10 pack like I said I get them off Amazon I'll link them down below so you just want to figure out how long you want your glass crystal pieces to be I usually like to do two or three um, little circles along with the teardrop on the bottom and then I'll use the rest of this for the hanging part of the sun catcher and these are so easy to use like I said they have the little jump rings already in between each of the little crystal beads so I just figure out how long I want the bottom piece to be take the little jump ring off and then attach it to my resin cutout that we drilled holes in super simple and easy and when you guys look for these you want to make sure you get ones that are glass um, they have some that are acrylic and they have some that are plastic you want to make sure that they're glass because the glass ones are going to give you those really pretty rainbows um, the acrylic ones and the plastic ones are pretty, but they're not going to give you the rainbows like a glass crystal. So when you search these up, you know, you're going to see more expensive ones and the more expensive ones are probably going to be glass because um, the plastic and acrylic ones are cheaper. So I attached the other piece to the top and I was left over with an extra um, circle bead, but that's okay. I will find a different use for that. And to hang these up, I use these little command strips. These are the perfect size, or you could use a hook um, if you wanted to too. And here's how it turned out. Super pretty. I just absolutely love how this turned out. These are so easy to make. I hope you guys give this a try. And like I said, if you want more of an in-depth tutorial showing how I make the resin 
part of these sun catchers. I will link that video down below. I have a few different videos showing how I make these. So be sure to go check those out. I just included a little short clip in this video um, in case you know anybody watching hasn't seen my previous videos. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I think these are so beautiful. They're just I just love the little rainbows that they cast and the crystals, the glass crystals give you some extra fun rainbows as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon for another video and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I'll leave a few of my favorites right here at the end card screen. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video and you can go check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.